I'm a fucking door cracker. I know you're in there. I can hear you milling around. Open a fucking door, cracker. I don't got time for this shit. Cracker, open a fucking door right now or I'll kick the fucking thing in. Right off the hinges. I'm gonna count the fucking five, cracker. That's it. One, two, three. Hey, Russo, I, I didn't hear you, man. I had the walking on real loud. What the fuck are you doing in here? What, 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 what are you doing, man? What the fuck is all this shit? Oh, uh, a friend of mine, you know, he wanted me to hold on to some shit for him. Must be like fucking 20 bucks here. Would you guys hijack a truck? <laughs> No way, man. Like, you know, like I said, a buddy of mine told me to hold on to some shit for him, you know? So. Alright, alright, fine. I want to hear about the fucking bikes, okay? I think you know why I'm here. Yeah? Look, I'm a reasonable guy, okay? And I would like to help you out. But you were in some heavy fucking shit. Some really heavy fucking shit. Will you stop? Oh, oh, alright? Take it easy, man. I told, I told the Beatle I would have the cash for him tomorrow. Okay? I mean, what's, what's the big fucking deal? So you don't see what the big deal is to you. The big deal is you like to play fucking games, okay? A day or two doesn't mean anything to you, but to us, it's a matter of fucking principle. Come on, man. This is... Man, this is all bullshit! This is bullshit! You're right. You're fucking bullshit, okay, pal? What kind of fucking name is Cracker Jack, huh? They find you at the bottom of the cereal box or what? No, I got it from... Yeah, like, I really fucking it. care where you got it from, you fucking ignoramus. Huh? I cannot believe you and I are from the same fucking planet. Can you believe we're from the same fucking planet, Ma? Jesus Christ almighty, you're just occupying fucking space. You know what? It's lesson time. Drop your fucking drawers. Let's go. What? I said take your fucking pants down. Right. Now! Alright, drop. That's it. Come on. Skivvies too. You put a bigger Oh, I'm about to show you how much we put right in your brains in the back of the fucking wall. Skivvies too. Move your hands. I'm just gonna, the bullet would go right through your hands anyway. Move your hands. I right, see now you got a fucking pair, okay? It proves that you got a fucking pair. Why don't you use them? Why don't you use your fucking balls? What? I said, why don't you use your pair of balls that God gave you? What? Say what? One more time, I'm gonna stick your fucking balls in that spoke right there and peddle you a one way ticket to fucking Unifil. You understand me? Go ahead. Say what again? What? I mean, I don't understand, sir. That's a lot better. I've never heard anybody any time. Listen to me. The question was, why don't you fucking use them? Meaning your fucking balls. If you're gonna conduct business, conduct them like a man that has a fucking pair. Otherwise, make soap, get the fuck out of town, and don't waste our fucking time anymore! Alright. Now, my job here is done. You are scared, are you not? I'm very scared. That was my job. Get me up here and scare you. Why? Because we want the fucking ten grand. Now, I'm gonna leave here empty handed again. But for the last time, I'm gonna leave empty handed, you understand? Next time I come up here, you don't have what I want! And I'm gonna fucking separate you from those fuzzy dykes, you understand me? Nod your head! Yeah. Good. Now, another thing, get rid of all these fucking bikes, it looks ridiculous in here, like a fucking junkyard. That's how I know I'm gonna be giving my fucking nieces for Christmas. You got it? Now, do me a favor, will you? Take a weed whacker of that fucking thing, will you? It looks like a fucking tropical rainforest, it's disgusting. Bastard got you hooked on those things. You did, Gambo. I did. Who's the fucking bastard got me hooked on? I said we go get him, we kill him. It was your brother, wasn't it? Leo? Who told you that? You did? I told you that. My memory must be gone, I'm getting old. So you want to kill your brother? Nah, he's not a bad guy. I said we give him a fucking China, though, just to let him know what he's doing to you, kid. Nah, he ain't doing nothing to me, I'm doing it to me. Hey, what did I say about the fucking language? You just said ain't. Sorry, Gambone. And what's with the Gambone thing all the time? What do you think, you're on Mulberry Street? I don't know. It sounds like a piece of the old world, you know? Like you're saying, tradition. i tell you something, pal. This place ain't no place for tradition, all right? <laughs> you just said ain't. See what I mean? You hang around a fucking dump like this long enough, the sewage just starts to fucking rub off on you. <laughs> tradition is something you gotta remember. Well, that's why I like to call you Gambone, Gambone. Right, let me tell you something. Remember this. It's a black and white world out there. Don't want the color fool you, all right? You see this flag? 
It ain't red, white, and blue. It's black, full of dark secrets. All right, the sky, white, purity. All right, that just had to kind of, kind of trick you a little bit. All right, the fact of the matter is, it's there to make you forget what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's evil. It's like we're living in some kind of fucking colorized movie or something. The fact of the matter is, all those old black and white movies had more truth in them than all these action films you kids like today. I like action movies. See, that's a problem with you kids today. It's all about action, nobody cares about truth. Well, that ain't true, Gimbal. But what did I say about ain't? Sorry. All right, never mind. Forget it. How's your girl? Ah, uh, she up and disappeared on me. What? To go surf. Yeah, she gets the crack of dawn to beat out the foam heads. What the fuck is a foam head? I'm fucking on, that's what she calls him. Ah, shit, that reminds me. I gotta get her an anniversary gift. It's been a year already, Kim? Congratulations. Nah, uh, eight months. And we like to get each other a little something every month on the anniversary of our first date, you know? Counting that beach party as your first day. Fourth of July. Hey, why not? The fourth fireworks show went off. Hi. Hey. Why aren't you at the party? It's not my thing. What about you? You're not over there joining the rest of the gang. I left my bong going home. I'm fresh out of glow sticks. You mind if I just sit here with you for a minute? It's kind of nice to stare at a fire. That's kind of suck you in, huh? Original TV. Boardwalk. I wondered about you. What have you wondered? Who you are, what you do, what you're about, I guess. I wondered about you too. Bullshit. You go surf every morning in the same place, you have a little dog, and you always shop at the grocery store on the corner. Okay, are you stalking me? No, I'm not stalking you. You're just... You're interested in me. You build a fire right next to the ocean. You see... You look nice. You look like somebody I... Never mind, I shouldn't have to leave. No, come on, tell, tell me. What? Sometimes you just... You feel like you... You could have something to talk about, you could have a conversation. I could say something to you and you wouldn't just think I was crazy. Yeah, I understand. I get it. I'm blue. I don't know what you mean. I'm too little. I haven't been all that happy. <laughs> hey, my hey. name. My name is Blue. Oh my god. I'm such an asshole. I'm sorry. Blue. Blue is your name? <laughs> Blue Flynn. Blue, actually. Where are you? Uh, I'm Joseph. Hi. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. So what's with the jacket? No, no. It just kind of makes you stick out like a sore thumb. Thinking you're not from here. A little. Oh yeah? Well, that's cool. Do you have any family back in New York still? Not anymore. No, I got my uncle Russo. I got to How about you? Where's your family? Not really to speak of. That's a long story. It's cool though. I uh, grew up in Venice, so it kind of has its little community vibe. Sort of makes you feel like, you're, like it's part of a family, sort of. Sir, do my thing. What about you? What do you do? This and that. This and that. Yeah. I got plans. I got big plans. Yeah? What kind of plans are these? I don't really have any plans. 
But I know what I want. I know what I want to do. I want to. I want my own business. Something you know. Something I can build and be proud of. Something I can actually take take pride in. Something bigger. Mr. Steele. Hola. What you got on deal today? Three for one dollar today. Hawaii, huh? See, si. uh huh. What you think, Gabo? How much for one? Eh. Uh, for you, tres dollars. Yeah, but you just said three. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Steele, you're a shrewd <laughs> businessman. I give you a deal. All together, cinco dollars. What an eye? See. Si? Oh, I see. You want me to keep an eye out? <laughs> well, maybe if your name was a Mr. Steel, you wouldn't get so many shoplifters. Uh, I... Two bucks, that's all you're getting. Eh, uh, okay. Gracias. Hey, kid, you got some business to take care of. We'll see you for lunch later, all right? <laughs> Sell bicycle business from the time. You ransack his place? No, I didn't ransack his place. That's not my job, okay? The Beatle tells me to go up there and scare the shit out of the kid. That's what I do. That's it. Case closed. He's got the money, Russo. He's just bullshitting you. Well, if he's got the money, why don't you guys go up there and squeeze him a little bit, see if you can't find him? What the fuck is Libido paying you for anyway? Let me tell you something. I'm nobody's gopher boy, okay? I don't get paid to clean out shitholes. You got the wrong guy. You want to find somebody to do that? Go get yourself a garbage man or something. Oh, you want me to tell Libido that? I don't give a fuck what you tell him. Tell him whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Got a fucking mouth on you. Yeah, well, fuck you, Rocky. Fuck you, Chunky. And while you're at it, bite the hand that feeds you, Russo. Let me ask you something. If you guys are done doing this, Cracker Jack, why don't you just axe the fucking kid? Cut him up in little pieces and throw him in the dumpster as far as I'm concerned. You take those bicycles, you sell them some zipper heads for five hundred dollars a piece, and you get your ten grand back. No problem. Right there. That's what I do. We don't want bikes, Russo. We want cash. Libido accepts cash only. What is he, a fucking convenience store? You got the first part right. What do you mean, Chuck? We want you to kill him. What? You heard him. Axe him. Just like you said. Oh, hang on a second. I'm not getting paid enough to do that shit. Huh. Perhaps you want to go back to New York instead. Look! You do it the way Libido tells you to do it. And he'll take care of you, just like he promised. Without him, Russo, you ain't got nothing. What the fuck you think you've been getting paid for? 
to walk around in them out-of-date suits and over the fucking beach bunnies? What's up with them lollipops, man? Oh, you, you know, there is so much truth, beauty, and desperation in this world. With your eyes, you can't see it. around you and you remain still frozen like the north pole refusing to change with the seasons but forever cold distant yet a heart burns within you a life hope there is something you still live for oh yeah what is that Bahala, to wash away the sins of your earthly life to redeem yourself of the desperate choices you've made i don't know why that all that's putting me quiet let me know when you figure it out okay? you, you, you know and astronauts become <laughs> what the fuck is this? Come to our meeting. A gathering of spirits on this our terrestrial planet. We're all astronauts floating in outer space, my friend, searching for the land of our holy brethren, the angels. Spirit, listen, listen. I don't think so. Okay. to the dark path of earthly necessity, you'll be lost! Fucking screwball, that's what I need now. My chunky monkey split me. my grandma. For that, I can never forgive you. Oh, please, you're so, you, want, you want half? Half is for half, folks, pal. Now listen to me carefully. Reach between your legs and start pulling out the rest of that fucking green. Wipe it off with the toilet paper. There's no telling what kind of crap is rubbing off on your fucking body. Hey, what the hell were you thinking, right? I give you some valuable advice on what to do with your balls. This is the way you conduct your yes! business. My mother would roll over in her grave right now if she saw the riffraff I had to deal with every day. I'm sorry, mama. Please. All right, now listen to me. Give me the fucking bag. Let's go. Pick it up. Please, you're so don't, 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 don't tell the beetle not like this. Tell him, tell him that I was on my way. I was on my way to bring it to him just now. You want me to do you a favor, right? Please. After the way you disrespected me? Come on! Fuck you! Come on! Please, please, you're so don't tell the beetle! Those fucking guns of his, man! Those guys will kill me! They'll break my legs! They'll fucking kill me! Maybe you ought to give him a little advice on what to do with your fucking man. Oh, come on! Guy. All right? You know, it's unbelievable to think that you and I are from the same fucking species. What has happened to the fucking world? No, 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 no. You shoot your great fucking nail project. No, 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 no. Do you a fucking favor. All right, now you listen to me carefully, all right? You get a bar of soap and lather yourself up, okay? Clean up your fucking act and get the fuck out of Venice Beach and I don't want to see you again. I'm going to clean this place up one person at a time. One fucking person at a time. I'll put the fucking gun to myself and kill myself. And then I have to deal with no. other cocksuckers like you anymore. You see, I'm not here, make me! Listen to me. Nod your fucking head if you understand what I said. Never again do I see you here. Not it! Yeah. Alright. Please. Oh, please. Why should you do a business with you? Oh, no, come on, get a dog to dog label. Don't oh, so please. Don't kill me.
call me uncle now, huh? <laughs> but you're gonna pick the right? Oh, more like a stepfather. Oh, so I should start calling you godfather then? Hey, kid around about being a godfather. It's a very important thing. Yeah. It's a very serious business. Yeah. So how you doing, surfer girl? Everything's all right. Hey, you wanna call me uncle and you think you can pull the wool over my eyes? What's going on? What's the matter? It's nothing. Look, one day you want to be able to call me Godfather, the first thing you have to do is have a kid. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. If, you don't want all these guys to see them like that. <laughs> then you want to be able to compete with these, uh, these surf rats, don't you? <laughs> cool moments. Cool moments. Cool moments. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Blue, what, 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 what's, what's wrong with you? You're real sweet, Russo. You know Joseph's really lucky to have a father like you. Well, I, I ain't the kid's father. He, he had a real dad. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to get him on the right path, you know? Give him some direction. It's kind of awkward, um. <laughs> I kind of feel like you've become my dad, too. It's like a, like a, like, like a whole new life. Uh, yeah. Well, Joseph and I aren't even married yet. I mean, you know, just be okay with well, it. Believe me, don't worry about it. Your truck up here, Mary, you throw him over to the father and the confession. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Believe me, he'll forgive you. Don't worry. <laughs> That's how he works. He do it all the time, 30, 40. Years. What did Joey say? I didn't tell him yet. Why? Why didn't you tell him yet? God, I wanted to talk to you first. Time. I didn't get your advice. Well, you know, you seem to be doing all right. You didn't ask me any advice on the first part. Got you, did you? Russo! Oh. I'm, I'm scared to tell him. I'm scared of what? He's Joey. He's your little Joey, isn't he? Oh, please don't call him that. It doesn't sound like a, uh, a daddy's name. His name's Joseph. Oh, all right. Carried away, I'm a little emotional, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like he's my little Joey. I know, that's what I mean. He's so young. Hey, hang on a minute, sister, all right? He's got three years on you. Don't get ahead of yourself. He talks about going back to New York all the time. He's got these plans, and I, I don't I don't want to get in the way of his plans. All right, hold up, hold up. This is the plan right now. This is the most important thing in your lives, all right? Trust me, I know Joey. This is Joey's plan. I know, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph. Oh, but we, we, don't, we don't have enough money to go back to New York and now that this kid and everything. You still talking about going back to New York, huh? Yeah, all the time. He just wants to make enough money. I think he needs your help, Uncle. Oh, we're, we're never going to get out of this place. All right, all right. Well, listen. The most important thing in your life right now is this little baby, all right? This little gift from God. I want you to just worry about that, all right? You gotta make sure that you you, you instill good values in this child. You know, values don't go on trees, all right? It takes 
much money this little family. What's that? It's a little part of your future, is one of this. All right, now look, listen carefully to me. I want you to go find Joey, okay? And I want you to tell him about the gift that God sent you. Okay, and then and only then after you told him, give him that. It's a key. That's exactly what it is. That's it a key to. That's unimportant for you right now. I want you to just concentrate on what I said. Make sure you do exactly what I told you to do. You tell him first and then give him that. Promise me you're gonna do that. Alright. You sure that's the safest place you can put it? You got any other suggestions? Well, you're a little skin tight right now, no, but uh. It's coming. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what are we talking about? We're talking about uh. uh foam heads. Yeah, what is. What, 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 what is this foam heads? Do they all drink cappuccino? What's the story? <laughs> you got foam in the brains. They got foam in the brains. Put rugged on the water. All right, listen, uh, you used to, uh, I'll catch you over at uh, Tommy's for lunch or something, right? Gift? Yeah, it's just plastic, but it's a symbol. Of what? You and me are gonna get out of this place, Blue. As soon as I make some money, we're gonna go back to the East Coast. Mm. What, you don't like it? We talk. Yeah, sure. Mm. You think about New York a lot, huh? Yeah, every day. Why? Well, I don't know. I was just... I was just thinking about what it would be like to live there. You know, like what we would do for jobs or for fun. I told you you can surf. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Long Island Sound's supposed to have killer swells. Yeah, I, um, I talked to Demetra about that. Oh, you did, did you? Mm -hmm. Great. Long Island Sound is a bay, baby. They don't... Waves are like three inches tall. Uh, well, who cares? You know, we can uh, go to Hawaii whenever you want to. It doesn't oh. matter. As soon as, uh, as soon as I get my business started, start huh? making some money, you can do whatever you want. And uh, what if the uh, what if the business doesn't work out? What you don't no! believe in me? Yeah, of course I believe in you. Good. I just want us to be sure. That's all. Sure, I'm sure. How much more sure do I have to be? About us. I want me to be sure. About Sometimes, Blue. Sometimes I don't know what the hell you're trying to say. What are you what are you telling me? What are you trying to say? I have a gift for you. You do? Yeah. What? <laughs> I can't show it to you right now. Okay. That's cool. Maybe when you get dressed. Okay, maybe I can give you an idea of what it is. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Um, well, it, it came to me a while back, and I just wanted to wait until our anniversary to tell you. Joey! Oh, Joey! Joey, what's up, dude? Joey! Joey, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Hey! hey. Don't call him Joey, all right? His name's Joseph. Yeah, right. Wolf, yeah. <laughs> Your lady don't like nobody calling me Joey. Oh, lady? Well, I'm not your old lady. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just kidding, Blue. Relax. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, have you seen Cracker Jack around, man? He's like, fucking disappeared, dude. Why should I, man? Go ask Russo. He's probably seen him. 
Oh no, fuck, you yeah, fuck, fuck off. That motherfucker owes hey, me thousands of dollars. The cock suck him off. Hey, would you watch the language, please? There's a lady present. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, oh sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, listen. So you don't know where he is or what? Well, what I just tell you, he ain't my thing, okay? Hi, cool, cool. Shh. Hey, listen, I'm gonna talk to you, man. Hey, like, uh, I wouldn't happen to have any schmack on you, would you? What the f- Come on, what man, just a little like, bit- What do I look like, a working fucking pink dot? Whoa, dude, watch the fucking language, the lady, man, whoa! Hey, what's up? Okay, and Joseph, I'm gonna go home and change, okay? I'll see you later. Oh, Joseph, good old Jake. She's hot, man, she's fucking hot! Blue, do you want us? Will you hold on to that for me, till later? Yeah, sure. Okay. Aww. Hey, dude. Dude, dude, I'm so fucked up, man. I got no place to go. Joseph! Hey, whoa! Joey! Pull yourself fuck. together. Help me out, man. Hey, look at yourself, man. <laughs> Snap out, out of it. Look, your thousand bucks will turn up sooner or later, you know? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, Go buy yourself a soda or something. Jesus. Hey. Hey, you'll buy me a soda? Bye, Wolf. All right, cool. Yeah, see ya. Sasha. Sasha, can I ask you something? God damn it, Joseph. Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Well, that's what I want to ask you about. How do you do that? Do what? Concentrate like that. Not very good with you around. Can you take that mask off? I want to ask you something. You can ask me with the head wrap on. I don't know if I can keep a straight face, you know? Talking to a ninja and all. What is it that you wanted to ask me, Joseph? Well, you know, that ancient art. How do you do that? You practice every day like me. I mean, I, I see you out here every Saturday and Sunday with your tip bowl. All these people around you pointing and laughing at you. I mean, how do you stay focused with all this bullshit going on around you? Mankind has been around for a long time, my friend. Most of us have no idea of our heritage. People have no sense of honor in this modern world. But I do. I stick to the roots of my heritage. But you got Japanese ancestors? Not that I know. Yes, you mean someone else's history. We stick with the history that works best for us. Why do they call you Musashi? Musashi! 
was a great samurai warrior who had great discipline. <laughs> yeah, he cut people up, I bet. If that's how you regard a man's courage. Man, I wish I had something like that. You know, some coat of honor. You know, some kind of fighting art. You know, some badass. Okay, Musashi-san. Sorry to disturb you. Hey, Joseph. Did they really laugh at me? Hey, did you eat today? You want some pizza? Back on the streets, pal. If you're gonna walk away, you gotta run. What, are you some kind of poet now? No, I'm just giving you a little fatherly advice. Advice? Sounds a little more like a warning. You're creeping me out, Gamble. What's with this uh, calling me Gam all the time? How about something a little different? How about, uh, how about we try calling me Godfather? What, are you joking with me? You know, that's not something you're supposed to joke about. Who says I was joking? All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll joke when it's the right time for joking, okay? Uh, what's new? What? Nothing new, nothing, nothing going on. Like what? I don't know, like what? You tell me like what it means. Uh, anything new, anything new in your life? <laughs> you saw me like 10 minutes ago. What's new with you in the last 10 minutes? Me, I just bought a pizza and talked to a ninja from the ghetto. What, what else? So nothing. You're starting to scare me, Gabo. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm your real father for crying out loud. You can't tell me what's going on in your life? You can't talk to me? Jesus. So, uh, where's Blue? She went to get changed. Why? No reason. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, uh... Let me ask you something. You think she'd ever run out on you or anything? What? Why would she run out on me? She's my girl. She's my wife-to-be. Right, right. She, 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 she's your wife to be. And as, as a matter of fact, why haven't the two of you gotten married yet? Because we ain't gonna get married. We is gonna get married. You're goddamn straight, you're gonna get married. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's the only way if you get married to her, you can make sure she doesn't run out on you. What? Why she say something like that? Did she say something to you? No, no. She, she said something to you? No, just, she's gonna get my anniversary gift, that's all. Good. Oh, well, that's a good thing. I mean, she better fucking hurry up about it, though. What's gotten into you, man? What's when you say all this? Let me tell you something. Women are like dolphins from the sea, all right? I mean, we don't always understand all their chitter-chatter and what they're really trying to say. But believe you and me now, there are gifts sent from God right from heaven, all right, to try to mend us from our evil ways. Now, they're slippery, they're tough to hold on to. But when you find the right one, you grab onto her tight, you understand me? Because she's gonna take you for the ride of your life. You got cancer or something? What? You talking about? Are you dying on me? Is that where you get all philosophical? No, I, I don't got cancer, for Christ's sake. I'm just getting old, that's all. Just remember something. Sometimes heaven comes to you in just little itty bitty pieces. Hey, what? Like a piece of pizza? Maybe. Maybe a piece of pizza? You know, it depends on how you're looking at it. I need this right. shit. You know, my view of heaven and what it was going to be has uh, changed quite a bit over the years. I used to think to myself, uh, maybe I'll have a big family and a nice house, you know. 
some respect and some honor, you know. That's all changed now. I'd settle for a little island in the South Pacific right now, be all alone, tell you the truth. Sometimes, sometimes I these strange ideas in my head. Um, yeah? Well, uh, listen, we're in a safe place. Come on, tell me. I, I got some fucked up thoughts too, but what, what do you think? I think there's plastic in heaven. Do I think there's plastic in heaven? Yeah, plastic, you know what I mean? But, like, what do they make stuff up out of there, you know? Like, they can't make everything out of marble. Is there plastic in heaven? You got me on that one, kid. That's a real fucked up one. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 I think I do know what you're talking about. All right, you see, plastic is a symbol for you of your childhood, right? I mean, all your dreams were made of plastic. All your toys were made of plastic. Plastic for Christmas, right? So plastic, in essence, is a, is a, it's a symbol of your innocence. See, but then you grow up, the plastic gets dirty. And you break the plastic, you, you, know, you, you, you light it on fire, and you melt it, you burn it, you destroy it. You destroy everything that's a symbol of your innocence. See? You lose me, Gambo. No, no, no. Why is it that every little doll ends up beat up, broke up, headless in a dumpster somewhere? It starts off as, as, as their best friend, you know, Beautiful symbol of the child, and like we were saying, right? And then we we stick a fucking straw right through its skull, and we suck the life right out of it, right? We suck everything that's left, destroy everything that's a that's a symbol for this innocence, right? And then we we take what's left of the doll, and we throw it in a fucking dumpster. That's what we do, right? That's what I did. And that's what I did to Maggie, the love of my life. Your ex-wife. Yeah, I wish I could take the ex out of it. Can. I sucked the life right out of that one. Destroyed all that innocence. I thought you said she divorced you. She did. She had to do what she had to do to save what was left of her life. And, and then after Marky, yeah. Uh, the jet mechanic? My son Marky's not really a jet mechanic. He, he's dead. Died in a, in a gang fight in the Bronx. And he got into the life, you know. I mean, uh, but not a life like you and I understand. You know? It was a life with no respect, no honor, you know. Just street violence, you know, kids with guns. It was my fault. You know? I wasn't there for him, you know. I wasn't there for, to, to guide him and help give him direction. You know? I let him down. Let my family down. That's when she left me. And that was just the beginning of the end. When I, when I lost my family, I, I lost my honor. You know, I, you have to understand, Joseph. I, we used to live our lives by a code. You know, a, a code of honor among men. Anyway, when, when the Karachis came to me and asked me to turn my back, uh, they wanted me to take a walk. I, uh, I didn't know what to do. But they said they could get to Maggie if I didn't. You know, I, I couldn't find her. I couldn't. I couldn't get to her. But I knew eventually they would. So I did. I did what they asked. I, I, I turned my back. I turned my back on the only man who, who was ever like a father to me, who ever treated me like family. I, I, I let him do it. I let him, I let him whack my balls. I, I, I let him whack him. I let him kill Domenico. I'm not really your uncle. I'm, I used to work for your father. I, I took you out of there because the, the Karachis knew that any living son would come back to avenge the, avenge the death of their father. I, I, had, I had to make you safe. I had to get you out of there. I, I didn't know what else to do. My father could be sensitive. But you 
try to see for us. I'm sorry. comes with me. I'm going back. Look, Joseph, that's stupid, all right? It's ridiculous to think you can go back to New York. You don't want to go back like this. There's nothing there for you. All right? That's done. That's the past. I go forward now, you know? I, I think about having a family, you know, some kids. Are you kidding me? Do I look like the fucking father type to you? What is that supposed to mean? What, you don't want to have kids? You don't want to have a family? What, so I can make more fucked up than I am? That's a bullshit excuse, all right? It's a bunch of crap. See, this place is fucking your head up. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You need to get out of here. I never should have brought you to the West Coast. You know, I should have, I should have just kept going and to China or something, where at least they, they still have family values. Yeah, what do you mean they, they don't believe in birth control? Well, that's right. Make a joke now. Speaking of birth control, are you practicing it? You know anything about it? What? You heard what I said. What the fuck are you talking about? Nothing. Tell me, what the fuck was that supposed to mean? I told you nothing. It was just, you know, it came out. You were talking about China and birth control, and it said to me nothing. Forget it. Fuck with me, man. Hey, don't cuss your family, all right? All right, like it or not, I'm the only family you got. It's you and me. Oh, great. Beggars can't be choosers. for you I did too. Libido's looking for you. Says you uh, got 10 big ones of his. Says uh, if you don't uh, give it back to him by uh, like uh, yesterday, he's gonna come down on you. I got time for this bullshit, man. Go get out of my face. Hey, don't kill the messenger, daddy-o. I'm just trying to help. You do not want to be fucking with libido. I mean, you might have heard he can get kind of grumpy. I mean, you know the story about Rufus. I don't know the big name Rufus. Libido's dog? The little fucker pissed on his shag carpet or some such shit. Get the poor little guy taken out to the woods and killed. That's the cutie style. I mean, I bet you he was wagging his little curly tail all the way up to the point where they put the, the gun to his little head and blew his fucking brains out. So all I'm saying is, you don't want to be fucking with the kingpin because he will fuck you back six ways to Sunday. Ten grand. This is about this, Some bullshit scared Oh, I bet you never heard about uh, Shiner then either. What the fuck is Shiner? Uh, Libido's goons, you know, Rocky and Monkey. Monkey and Rocky. Or is it Chunky and Monkey? Chunky and Monkey! Hey, that's, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> so, so, uh, they beat the shit out of Shider. I mean, in some, like, warehouse over, like, off of Lincoln by the Corman Studios. I mean, they pummeled the shit out of his face. Hey, Joseph, but, but, do you know where I can score some snacks? Becky, what are you doing here? I thought you worked till, like, four in the morning. I'm... Um, I wrote this girl. Yeah, she's Demetrius. 
Who the fuck is this Dimitri I keep hearing about? Relax around. So anyway, they, 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 they did half of it. I mean, they made poor Shiner strip down, butt naked, and get to, in, into a barrel of oil. Kept him there like for a week. Fucking shriveled his dick off, man. I mean, fucking off. Can you believe that shit? What is that, Zoo Day? So do you, Joey, do you have any stuff? So nobody called you Joey. What do you want, chick? I'm not a chick, you dick. Hey, that's not way to talk to me. I'm old enough to be your father. Ah, oh, then fuck you, Grandpa. Hey, 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 knock it off. Come here. Come here, what the fuck is this? What's this shit? What the fuck are you doing? You know you ain't supposed to do that shit. I thought she was trying to stop. What's it to you? What do you care so much for hey, anyway? Becky, look at yourself. You're a beautiful girl. That shit's gonna fuck you up big time. Are you saying I'm attractive, Joseph? Yeah, yeah, you're a babe, so? You're attracted to me. <laughs> Becky, look. Hey, you know I have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean you little surfer girl? I can see why I like her. She's fucking hot. How about the three of us get together sometime? Just you, me... Look, Becky, and Becky, let's get one thing straight. I don't like her. I love her. So? What difference does that make? I'm just saying. We can really Becky, have a good time. Becky, Becky, you got the wrong idea. Look. I, I think you're okay, great. Okay, fine. Okay. So what about it? Do you have any stuff? I thought you didn't even have the money for that shit. Aren't you trying to get out of debt? Yeah, but I don't exactly have the money right now, Well, that's now, but... it then. Perfect. No cash, no hash. Look, Becky, stay in debt. It's healthy. Yeah, but I got these things. What? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of these things for free. All we have to do is we sell them, and, 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 and we'll have so much money we won't you even mean, be like, in debt. You mean, like, face in the sink type sinks? Yeah. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. No, 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 you don't understand. My friend, a friend of my cousin's, he's got this plumbing store that he's liquidating, and, and all we but have Becky, to do is bring Becky, in a U-Haul in the Becky. middle of the night. That's enough. Look, you're making me want to smoke a brick now. So you don't want to help me get the sinks? Look, Becky, we got to go. Good luck with your sinks. Maybe you can open your plumbing up. Fuck her! Fuck her! All I'm saying is you better square up or he's going to make pork chops out of you and your punk kid here. What are you, bucket for a promotion, mackerel? That's the name of a fish, isn't it, mackerel? What do they call you that for, because you're slimy and slippery? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, relax, paisan, you know? I'm just a messenger, you know? Hey, if I wanted to send my own message, I would... Hey, hey, you tell your little fucking friend, your boss, that I said I'm going to square up. I'll take care of it. You leave the kid out of it, tell him. I said, you understand? Now get out of here before you test my nerve. Move it. Jesus Christ! There's... I'm just trying to help you, man! Is this the thanks I get? I live around here, man! The fuck was that about? i never seen you pull a gun on someone without a good reason. That was a good reason. Something going on, Russo. What was that about ten grand? You owe Lobito some money? Russo, you tell me if you were in trouble, right? Stay the fuck out of this, kid. It's none of your business. Oh, that's very fucking nice. You want me to stay out of it? You tell me you saw my father assassinated that was your fault? You tell me all this fucked up shit that I don't even want to know in the first place, and now you want me to stay out of it? Fuck off! Oh, kid, where you going? Stop calling me kid! I ain't your kid! I ain't nobody's kid! All right, all right. Hey, wait a second, all right? Give me a second here. You owe me that. Stay out of this. Good, then I'm out. Where the fuck are you going? I'm gonna go find Blue. Alright, uh, finding Blue's a good idea, okay? We've got some important shit to talk about. We're not gonna talk, we're gonna fuck! What the hell are you talking like that about? Kid, where are you going? Wait up! Kid! Get up himself, he'll get a 
Get up, Pop. Look at him. <laughs> now I knocked him down. I picked him up because I owe you one. Man, so do it again. Get off. Fuck up. <laughs> oh. Where'd you learn to throw a punch like that? It reminded me of your old man. You gotta fix that eye again, boy. Don't worry about it. Listen. Blue. Go find Blue. You gotta find Blue. She's got the key. She's got the fucking key. Key what key? Key to a locker. $10,000 stashed in it. I stashed it there for you. For you and her to... Get out of here. Start a new life. Please, Joseph, go. What are you talking about leave here? Go take the money and start a new life with her now, man. Do it. Where do you want me to go, man? I don't know anywhere else. This is why your father kept you away from all this stuff. Joey, please go. Joey, just go now. Please take the money. Go! I'm coming back for you, Russo. You listen to me. You stay right here. I'm coming back for you. So, everything happens for a reason, Joe. Always remember I love you. Now go, please go. <laughs> talk to you. You do? Okay, good. Right now, it's important. I can't, I can't tell you about it right now. Five minutes? Okay, okay. Lou, I love you. You have a great look. Do you want to be in my movie? I'm making this movie about Venice Beach as the last outpost for the modern Babylon. It's sort of a moving canvas about desperation. We're having an art exhibition over at SMC in a couple weeks. I think you'd make for a really great portrait. No well, thanks. Hear me out. We're collecting all the diaspora of the Western culture and putting it into a black light box of human perception. I said no thanks. Open your eyes. Look around you. We're at the edge, the edge of the world. People think the world is round, but their minds are flat. The world is what we perceive it to be, then it might as well be flat. You're at the edge. Venice Beach is the end of the long road. If you go out there any further, you're gonna fall off the... You busted my kitchen.
you still there? You said five minutes. Sorry. Okay, look, I'm coming up. Fuck! I said it was coming up. Yeah, I said it was coming down. Forget it. Baby, what's wrong? Because you're kind of freaking me out. Do you have the key? Russell said he gave you the key. Do you have it? Wait, he told you I had the key. Yes, he told me. Do you have it? Yeah, I do. What else did he tell you? Blue, this isn't the time for games. I need it. You need it? What's so goddamn fucking important about this key that you have to act like a jerk? A jerk? I'm not acting like a jerk. I'm just... Oh, Jesus, Blue, I cannot have one of these touchy-feely kind of conversations right now. Oh, touchy-feely. Okay, yeah. You know what? I gotta go. Wait, wait a minute! I don't want to talk to you right now, Joseph! Oh why, why are you getting so emotional? Because I'm a fucking hormonally imbalanced chick who likes to get a little touchy-feely sometimes, okay? So sue me! Wait, Blue, I need the key! No. You know what you need right now? Fuck you! What? Oh, man. Oh, man, this isn't happening. Oh... Blue, I'm sorry. What the fuck am I thinking? Fuck the key. I don't care about the fucking key. The key doesn't make any difference without you. Blue, it's you. It's you. It's better? Blue, it's you I care about more than anything in this, this whole world. We can have a better life together somewhere. Like New York. What's important about this key? <sighs> my uncle's in trouble except he's not my uncle. He lost his son. Fucking Lopito's goons almost killed Wait, him. slow down. I don't, what are you talking about? He's not your uncle. <sighs> don't, don't worry about that. He owes Lobito 10 grand. And if he doesn't get to beat Lobito by like yesterday, he's gonna fucking kill himself. Okay, well who's got the money? in a beach locker. Can I have the key? He made me promise. Promise what? <laughs> to tell you something. Lou, what is this? She gave me a gift. Now I gotta give you one too. Can this wait? No. No. <laughs> How about Joey? Joseph. And it's 
Joseph Sr. Will you now, miss? Oh my God, baby, we gotta get the money to the libido. Stupid, it's, it's called morning sickness. Can't wait till night time. Come on. Okay. I missed him. Can't ride with you. It's an emergency. Your thing, what's the DOA? Beach lockers and step on it. You get it. Are you all right? Yeah. How long have you been sick? A couple weeks. A couple weeks? How long do you know about, you know? Six weeks, I think. You've been pregnant for a month and a half? You didn't tell me? I know. I was waiting for the right moment. Is the kid's first birthday the right moment? Hey, Aunt Louise didn't tell Jimmy about Tyler until he was four. Yeah, didn't she have a restraining order against him? Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's weird. That's all right. We'll work it out. Hey, mister, could you step on it? You gonna have a baby? When'd she do? By the time we get to the beach lockers at this rate. That's a beautiful wife you got there. It's not exactly my... Thanks. I had a beautiful wife once. Lost her to sharks. 20 odd years ago. I still come out here every once in a while. Just to make sure. Make sure what? Hey, uh, what kind of sharks were they? Sand sharks. Sand sharks don't eat people. The kind of walk on sand do. Okay. Joseph, what are we gonna do for money? What do you mean? How are we gonna get to Hawaii? How are we gonna live? I told you I'll get a job and you win some surf competitions. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? No. What? Come on, you know. No, I don't know. What are you talking about? The money. Is there really $10,000 in there? Blue, don't even think about it. That's, that's not ours. He, Russo gave me the key. Why, why would he do that? He gave me a key for a reason, right? Maybe. I don't know. Beach blockers. Nick, stop. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rogers. Look, we don't. you don't even have to slow down. So how are you going to pay him back? Come on, we're getting this money to the beat up. Where is he? Come on. Oh, come on, not again. There's a high road and there's a low road. One of them is a path of the common man. The other is a path of the enlightened. That's the road of the common man, my friend. That's the road of desperation, greed, fear, and ultimate degradation. Get the fuck out of my face! Listen to the angels, oh wanderer. They're everywhere. They'll lead you toward a purple threefold flame. Ah, the angel speaks! Talking to her now, freak! Just like the sun, someone from the east is descending in the west. The truth is slippery. Very slippery. Slippery. Slippery like the fish. Oh, Johnny Rocket. I was sent to fetch you. Where's Russo? <laughs> That's the ten thousand dollar question, isn't it? Is Johnny over there? Crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's uh, hanging by a thread as we speak. Where is he? Well, come on, I'll take you to him. Yeah. You will have to go. No, don't, don't take don't. the money and run. Don't go. Don't go, Jason. I don't want to be back. Don't do you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just I don't want to go. Here, hang on to that. We'll see you later. I promise. All right. Down here. Let's go farther. Come on. 
Come on, let me down here. What the fuck are you doing here, Joseph? I ain't letting you go down like this, Gambone. Gambone? What the fuck is that? I have never heard that word before. What is that? Uh, Portuguese or something? Italian. Italian? <laughs> if that's Italian, then Porky Pig is French. You know what that means, monkey? He started saying it to me, and I let it go. It kind of grew on me. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> you, you trying to say Goomba? Or something like that? Maybe throw a little Spanish in there? Cabron? You are a real riot, Jimmy Dean. Now where the fuck is my money? He doesn't know where the fucking money is, I told you. Hey, Cracker Jack has the money. You shut the fuck up. He's probably half fucking gone now. I am sick of that stinking vial drooling out of your pie hole. What about you, Maggie? You waste my time bringing this kid down here. Hey, you, you asked me. Does he have my money? Do you have my money? Does anyone have my fucking money, for Christ's sakes? Uh, it... One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shit! You're supposed to count the ten before you lose your temper. That's what 101 ways to control your rage keeps telling me. But it doesn't work. Then I'm still pissed off. Take it easy, Lupito. Take it easy? Oh, that... that is rich. Last chance, Gambone. Is it gonna be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... large? Or is it gonna be... 1, 2, 3... Stop! 4, four 5, Stop 6, it. 6, 7, Stop! Eight, nine, I got the fucking money! No, he doesn't have the money. He was just trying to play with the big box. 
the fuck are you doing, Russo? I'm trying to help you. Shut the fuck up. You want to help me? Get the fuck out of here. Don't let me ever see your pissy, whiny little fucking face Stop again. Russo. Get out. Don't ever say that to me. Hey, you guys done? I mean, you're breaking my heart here. I'm going to get the money. Don't you fucking move, bitch. I am so tired. I'm tired of all the fighting. All I want is my money that is owed me from all my blood, sweat, and tears. I... I can't stand the... the whining, the... the crying, the shouting. You remind me of my mama. And no one ever gave her a second chance. How about it, James Dean? You got the money like you were telling us just now? Hey, last chance, kiddo. You find me. Dimitra, I told her she's got half blood on her. Psycho. Is that the money? Oh my god, Joseph, where's Russo? Come on, let's get out of here. So where are we going? Airport. 